Hi guys, just gonna correct my, let's hope it balances. <laughs> Welcome to my live stream today. Um, I'm Sarah Negus, the modern day shaman, and I help you discover and master your unseen potential. So I mean your big dreams. Um, and if you are hopping on today, what I'm gonna be talking about is how you can harness the energy of queen, of diva, of empress, that oh, regal energy of knowing that you're loved. Hello, Amanda, thank you for joining me. Bear with me because I just want, I promised that I would share this with Abundance Flash Mob and on my own group. So let me just find it and do that while you guys come on live. There we are. It won't take me two minutes. I did try and get Amy to do this for me, but um, I can't, she's not, she's not about. So, right, so how to on this queen NG. This is all about success, consciousness. I'm gonna copy that, telling you what I'm doing. If you know me, you know that my uh, um, technical abilities are limited. I'm sure that's a limiting belief in itself, but um, it seems that Whenever I want to do something snazzy, I know this isn't snazzy, it feels snazzy to me, um, I managed to cock it all up and then I'm going to do this on Evolve as well. Oh no, I've done it wrong. <laughs> See? See, I've done it wrong. I've just shared it to me. <laughs> Abundance. I think that Facebook, Facebook, if you're listening, please can you find a way for us to do this? easily without keeping everybody waiting for the content because I know that you guys have got lots of things to do rather than just watch me. Oh, I've spelled consciousness wrong. There we go. So I'm just going to post that and then I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to be with you because um, it's going to go, I want it to go on my group to evolve and thrive. Um, and while I'm here, I just decided that I'm going to do a free challenge on my Facebook group next week on Evolve and Thrive. Um, so if you want to come and have access to lots of different energetic things, meditations, and um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do, but it's all about overcoming your uh, limiting beliefs around the fact that you can't actually own your own power, your, how amazing you are. Just finishing with this. How to harness queen energy. I love that. And it's all about success, consciousness. So I like to make up my own hashtags. And success consciousness is one that I've just come up with right now. So. Thanks for bearing with me, everybody. Um, if you like what I'm talking about, please do feel free to share. Um, tell your friends about the page or Evolve and Thrive. Uh, Evolve and Thrive. As I said earlier, I am going to be running a very impromptu um, challenge next week, four days just before Easter, because you know Easter is all about death and rebirth. So let's build up the energy so that as you come through the Easter weekend, you're ready to step out into that lovely Queen Diva Empress energy, whichever, whichever word kind of resonates with you. Now, what is Queen energy? What does it mean to you? Have a think about it now while I tell you what it means to me. It means a deep knowing that I'm loved, that I can allow others to serve me, that I'm revered, that I'm exalted even, and um, that I am success. You know, a queen, when they're born into their role, queen, a pharaoh, empress, there is nothing in their energy that, that tells them that they are not the one ready to claim their own crown. And they step into their role, or this is my interpretation of it, they step into their role fully, knowing that their own life is a complete and utter success from the moment they're born to the moment that they die. 
Um, this is success consciousness. This is queen energy. When you claim your own crown and wear it fully, regally, knowing that whatever you do, however you breathe, however you uh, um, emote, whatever it is that comes through you, it is there because you are you. It is there to help you grow. It is there to help you experience and it is there to help you evolve. After all, our own being, our own existence is for that reason, to evolve and to make a difference to the greater consciousness. Every thought that you have affects the greater consciousness. Everything that you do affects the greater consciousness. So how much better to be in your own power? How much better to be in that queen energy? Now I don't mean slay, slash it and slay energy, you know, the sort of queen that comes in and kills everyone and, and uh, just completely wipes everything out. I mean the, the queen that empowers by leading. A queen is a leader, an empress is a leader, um, a diva is a leader, and it's a certain type of energy that you have to evoke within you. It is definitely feminine energy. It is the ability to allow others around you to uh, come towards you so that you attract that feeling of love, of trust, of confidence. And when we're in our life and when we're in our business trying to manifest our dreams, it is often that we get stuck in doing. I just need to go and learn how to master selling. I just need to go and understand how to write good copy. I just need to go and work out how I can absolutely talk to my clients. But what you really need to do is put your gown on, put your crown on, and stand in your own power of knowing that what you're offering, what you're serving is priceless for those that need it, for those that you can help. Now, knowing that you are different to everybody else is part of this queen energy, it's part of this success consciousness. There is no better than, there is no worse than, there is no high vibration or low vibration. It is that we are all together, coming together in our own experience um, and allowing each other to exist because in doing that we become connected. And when we're connected, we can lead by our own life. And that is queen energy, diva energy, empress energy. Um, leading by being all that you are, trusting yourself, loving yourself, revering yourself, comforting yourself, ultimately stopping the rabbit wheel or the hamster wheel of doing, 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 and being very harsh on yourself inside when you are not doing something. Now, this doing, 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 we learned when we're small. We learned it at our mother's knee. We learned that by doing, we were praised. By succeeding in outcome, we were praised. And that gave us a feeling that, oh, okay, well, if I do this and this and this, I'm gonna be praised, I'm gonna be worthy, I'm gonna be valued. And I say that what we learned back then when we were little, actually overcomes our own innate knowing that we are magnificent, we are regal, we are powerful, and you are your own queen, your own diva, your own empress, your own pharaoh. Now in ancient Egypt, the pharaohs were actually uh, master shamans. They learned to bridge um, and were taught through their, familial, their family line to bridge between our human life and the spiritual realms. And that again for me is part of the queen energy. Being able to be human, live now, yet connect with all that you can see for your life. Trust yourself absolutely so much that you can step towards it. Even if it feels like you're falling or faltering, you keep stepping forward and you keep um, underlining and underpinning the fact that everything that's coming towards you is for your 
energy. It's for your greatest good. It's for your regality. Now, this is queen energy, and this is part of success consciousness. Success consciousness is not based on outcome. It is a prerequisite to outcome, if you like. Success consciousness is a knowing that within you, your being alive is success in itself. Now, if you um, understand, as I do, that what you feel and think and know inside of yourself comes towards you, can you get a handle on how powerful success consciousness will be for you? Yeah? Now, it is this idea that your life is happy, wonderful, affluent, abundant, all that you need it to be right now in this given moment. And that you can be so excited about your next breath, about your next step, about your next day. Yes, we're going to have up, ups and downs. That's the law, universal law of rhythm. Okay? And yes, there are going to be times when you're feeling low and you're not very well when you're tired. Yet, if you have within you this knowing of success consciousness, these periods get shorter. These periods get less powerful and they are less potent in terms of flattening down your energy. So how do I know this? I know this because my clients show me. My life shows me. So what has happened in terms of uh, clients last year? One of my clients sold out a $420,000 uh, launch in a month. Um, she was nervous about it right before she began, but truly stepped into her own queen. And since then, she has recorded a series with Forbes. She has been approached by all sorts of different uh, TV production uh, companies. And she's writing her own book that is going to be published. Um, and, and more than that, she has cracked open her idea of her dream of her life. Um, and she can see very clearly where she's going. And let me tell you, it's big. Another one of my clients uh, downloaded a, a unique healing modality and has now already taught it to oh, 20, 30 people. I love the fact that she's done that. Um, and she's so confident with it and she's going to turn it on and into, into much, much more. Um, another one was almost bankrupt, about to, about to close a company down. And within six weeks, I had six big deals coming in. Now, this kind of success consciousness changes lives. And it's not rocket science, but it is... Uh, you have to be brave. It is a courageous walk. You have to be, a, be willing to take responsibility for yourself, for your life and all that you have around you. And you have to cast off the cloak of victim. Now, in our world, it is so common, normal, to be victim to the sun, the rain. I often say, oh my gosh, it's raining, I hate this weather. Um, to other people, to your circumstances, to your upbringing, to your culture. And it's almost a cultural conditioned way of being. Now, victim energy is very strong and it kills the queen. So, if you are ready to step into success consciousness and for whatever that might mean in your life, it might not be money related, it might be a way of feeling about yourself, it might be a relationship, it might be wanting to find a career path that really feeds your soul. So success means different things to different people. But what I'm saying here is that it's not an outcome. Yeah, it's, it's an income. It's something that you have within you. And because of that, the things around you really do evolve into something quite spectacular. Another one of my clients who works in um, the corporate world, coaching high-level executives, um, tripled her fee base and then signed three clients within a week. I mean, this is really potent stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, my success consciousness mastermind starts in April and I am inviting application calls for that. And I'd love to talk to you. If you want to come and find out about it, it's, um, hello everybody who's joining. Thanks so much for the love hearts. I'm trying to keep my focus so uh, and, and think about what I'm saying so it's coherent and I'm not waffling too much. But I love that you're here on live with me. 
Um, and thanks for watching all the way almost to the end. So just to fill you in a little bit about my mastermind, it's two uh, monthly calls, they're group calls. There'll be 10 people maximum, so it's very intimate. And we will be shamanically journeying um, and we will be doing specific high touch individual laser mentoring through the calls. And because it's a group environment, what I find is that you'll have a common theme and each group coaching, personal group coaching, so individual coaching within the group, will help e each of you grow even more exponentially. So as I say, you need to be brave, you need to be ready to cast off the victim and, and um, completely wanting to step into and under your own crown so that you can move forwards and make things happen in your life. Six months, it's £600 a month, or if you want to pay up front, it's £3,000, so you get one month free. You also get email act access to me in office hours, um, as well as at the moment, uh, you get a, a single session with me free during the time. So put a comment in the, in the uh, video here or the live stream here and let me know if you're interested. I'm going to put the link in that you need and I'm really looking forward to talking to you because success consciousness for me is a way to really uh, affect your life, affect the lives of those around you. By, by being, you will be leading. So guys, come and join me. I'm ready to host you. We start in April um, and I wanna talk to you if you are ready to come and step into that energy. Thank you for watching me. Um, I really do appreciate it and I hope that you found it's really very useful here. I will be back again shortly in the next couple of days with some more information. Lots of love, guys. Bye.